Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is an instructor had his students perform this laboratory beginning with setting up the oven restriction enzyme digests. One team of students had results that look like those below. What is the most likely explanation for these results? And first of all, I want to give you a sequence of the uh, first uh, restriction site for this enzyme which is A, A, G, C, and T, T. And as for the second enzyme, uh, restriction uh, site for this enzyme would be a sequence that is G, A, A, T, T, C. And if we look at these two sequences, we would see that both these sequences uh, have the same length. And what does it mean? Uh, for example, if I would use uh, empty box to represent one position of the nucleotide in this sequence, so I would have one, two, three, four, five and six boxes because each um, restriction enzyme site here has six nucleotides. And uh, if I would ask you a question, what is the probability that we would take um, DNA, for example, um, of uh, one million base pairs uh, long, how many times we would expect that each uh, restriction enzyme would cut this DNA. And we can say, for example, for the first case of the uh, restriction enzyme hind 3, which uh, represented here with uh, red color, we can say that uh, probability would be 1 out of 4 that um, first uh, empty box would be filled with uh, a, or that if we would take random sequence, that we would find uh, nucleotide A here. And second position also would have the same probability, one quarter, that is going to be also A again. Why one quarter? Because we have only four nucleotides, A, T, C, and G. So every time we would have one quarter probability that it's going to be A or if it is going to be G so also would have one quarter probability so uh, in order to find a probability of such sequence occurrence we have to multiply all these independent probabilities and we will find probability of occurrence of this sequence and this is going to be one quarter multiplied by one quarter so it's going to be one sixteenth multiplied by one quarter would be one over sixty four and multiplied by one quarter would be one over two hundred fifty six and multiplied by one quarter would be uh, one over um, 1024 and multiplied by one quarter would be uh, 1 out of um, 4000 so the answer would be 1 over 4096 so we expect that uh, on the average uh, any DNA of the uh, length uh, for example like 1 million base pairs would be cut about every 4096 base pairs. Once again, for example, if uh, our DNA strand would be about, say, 8000 base pairs, we expect it to be uh, cut uh, once or twice. If it's going to be 12,000, we expect it to be cut three times just uh, because uh, such sequence can happen randomly. 
And the same is true for the second sequence, because this sequence has the same length, uh, six nucleotide bases, so it's also, so uh, echo R1 uh, enzyme would cut the same uh, DNA about uh, as many times as uh, it's going to be cut by uh, hint um, 3 enzyme every uh, about every 4096 bases but what we see here on this picture is that this enzyme cut it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times so we have 6 uh, bands here but we have to exclude this band because this is as you see the same lens as uncut DNA. So uh, basically we have here a mixture uh, of cut and uncut DNA. So this band represents uncut DNA. So we can say that uh, we have one, two, three, four, five uh, bands here that represents cut DNA. And if we multiply uh, by this number, that would give us uh, the length of the uncut DNA. That is about um, five bands multiplied by 4,000, about 20,000 base pairs long. And uh, another conclusion would be that uh, second uh, sequence also have to happen uh, about five times. If we know that uh, uncut DNA is about 20,000 base pairs long, so we expect that second sequence restriction enzyme uh, site for uh, restriction enzyme also would happen just uh, by chance about uh, five times, but we do not see here uh, any uh, DNA that have been cut by a second enzyme. So let's now check uh, our answers. Uh, first variant, uh, the students did not allow enough time for the electrophoresis separation, and this is not true, because we see that uh, uh, second row show us uh, that time was not an issue because we see here that bands separated. Uh, variant B, the agarose uh, preparation was faulty, also is not the case because uh, we see that second row show us a uh, result uh, of the um, separation of the band, so there is no problem with uh, gel uh, agarose uh, preparation itself. Variant C, the miscellane blue did not stain the DNA evenly, also uh, not the case, because we see that all the bands uh, stained evenly, and uh, we shouldn't expect any loss of bands here due to um, this problem. Answer D, restriction enzyme ICA R1 did not function properly, and this is true. Probably the conditions under which this enzyme have been stored was not um, good enough, so this um, enzyme degraded and lost uh, its function. And variant uh, of the answer E, the voltage was set too low on the apparatus, is also uh, not true, because we see that uh, on the second row DNA cut with hint 3 enzyme had uh, enough uh, time for the bands to separate. So this is uh, not the case. So the only correct answer is answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.